getting ready to change out the barrel on this AR-15 upper. And I'm just going to show you some of the ways to remove your barrel. Uh, it's just going to be a very simple video. Uh, there is a gas block here. If you have one of the A2 sight posts, you're going to have to drive some pins out. So I'm not going to demonstrate that. I'm sure that's on YouTube. It's a pretty simple process, for, but for those of you who want to know, here we go. Now the tools you're going to need for this project are pretty simple. Uh, one of the important things is a vise to lock in your upper receiver. When you're putting a lot of pressure on the barrel, you can warp your receiver. So a good bench block vise, there are different types. You can find one that suits you. Uh, a good hammer with brass or a nylon tip. Uh, this will keep from marring your finish. Also, and this is really important, is an armorer's tool. Now this is one of the Tapco tools. There are a lot of others out there on the market, but this handles a number of different features with your AR-15 rifle. Also, you need hex wrenches, uh, obviously. Now this is a set, but of course you can do the individual ones. And then we have just a small punch, which drives the pin through for your gas tube. So just a few simple tools that you'll need and a good, of course, bench vise to be able to put your block in. First thing we need to do is remove the hand guards and you just pull back on this delta ring and it holds the guards into place. Um, sometimes this can be a kind of a pain in the rear end, but there are certain tools you can even get if you're going to do it a lot. Fits in and then back out. You can get vices and a lot of other tools at Brown Ales. Makes it really easy to work if you're doing a number of AR-15s. If you're not, you might be able to borrow it from a friend. We're going to remove the muzzle device first because that's what's going to allow the gas block to move over the barrel. Just get it loose and then you can just unthread it. It has a crush washer here as well. Next, we're going to remove the gas block. It's just two Allen screws that are holding these in. Okay, once we get them loosened, we can go ahead and pull it out. And we're going to bring our gas block off the end of the barrel. And the ring that holds in our hand guard. Okay, now we're going to remove the barrel nut, and you're going to need an armor's wrench to do that. This is a Tapco from Tapco Armor's Wrench. This is a really good tool to have if you have an AR-15 for a number of different reasons. Just go to the corresponding teeth. Once you get the lugs into the barrel nut, go ahead and just twist it down, and then. So I'll actually just unscrew. Take the barrel, just pull it right off. Now we can remove the upper receiver from the vise. We're going to go ahead and drive the pin out of the gas block to use the gas tube and we're going to put it in our vise and it actually fits into this slot and to do that we're going to need to drive this small roll pin right here. This holds the gas tube into place. Just take a small punch that fits the roll pin, tap it right out. Obviously this roll pin's small and you want to make sure you catch it, unlike I did, but it wasn't hard to find. To break down the delta ring assembly, all you need are some snap ring pliers. Place them in here, open that snap ring up, and it pops right off. And then there's a weld spring underneath, and then of course your delta ring. This holds on your hand guards, and then you have your barrel nut. Uh, one of the things you'll want to make sure is whenever you add a delta ring of this style, you want to make sure there's a hole through here, through your delta ring, and that your these are lined up with your um, spring inside. And you can just line it up with any kind of tool of some sort just to get it to where it goes into place. But since we're not assembling a barrel right now, I just wanted to kind of throw that in. And of course, when you torque it, you'll torque it to that 
where the gas tube will go right through. Now here's the delta ring assembly disassembled and you have your delta ring, your barrel nut, this is your weld spring. Uh, it has to have a cut through here for your gas tube so parts are welded together and that's why it's called a weld spring. And then of course you have your uh, snap ring. A pair of snap ring pliers will make this a really easy job to be able to expand that out and get it over uh, your barrel nut. Now here's everything laid out and you know it's really simple. The knowledge that you gain by doing a lot of this yourself. You want to be careful especially with installing a barrel. Make sure that you get enough pressure on the barrel to lock it down. That's really your most important part. But you can take it to your local gunsmith. You can get headspace gauges. If you really like the AR-15 and you have even a couple of rifles, it's really good to be able to know how to maintain, how to repair, how to add upgrades to your rifle. The AR-15 can be a lot of fun. It's a simple platform to use and with just a few basic tools and basic steps, you can do anything to this rifle and that's really one of the beautiful things about it. One source that I find a lot of times is I just go on eBay and type in whatever tool I'm looking for. Of course Brownells and there are some others that have excellent tools for you to use. There are other videos out there about how to install and how to remove your barrel, especially the A2 sight and obviously I referred to that. Maybe we'll be doing that in the future. Uh, the pins that you need to drive out of your A2 sight are going to be fairly difficult to drive through. They can be done but just go ahead and prepare yourself that you're really going to have to do some work to get that front sight off. Gain knowledge when working with your rifle, especially if this is a, a home defense or an SHTF type situation. You want to really know how to work on these firearms. Be strong. Be of good courage. God bless America. Long live the Republic. Now you can see the teeth that go on, now you can see the teeth that go around, okay what is that? To do this right we're going to put it in a, to do this right we're going to put it in a valve. Once you get it into place, firmly locked into the teeth, Just wanted to show you the unique features of the Delta Ring Assembly.